Yesterday's monstrous performance by the Nigerian 4 by 100 meter team. I, I, you know, in, in the uh, previous podcast I was bringing to bear before the lights were taken off, I told, I was just narrating the fact that it is going to be, you know, a slippery slope of a race because in the last four years, Ghana won it. In the last edition, Ghana won it, all right, gold in the male category. So the Nigerian athletics team coach vowed tender and brimstone that this year they were going to take it. And I saw the semifinal heat, which qualified the Nigerian team to the final. And I knew, I knew they were going to go for this. I knew they were, they were going to take this away from Ghana. All right, let's have some spanking new exclusives right here on today's edition. I am TJ. I am your Commander-in-Chief. Welcome, welcome to this lovely channel. And I'm here to serve you with spanking new exclusives, all right? You can call me, you can refer to me as TJ. I am your Commander-in-Chief. I am the Chief Campaign of this editorial, all right? But I preferably, all right, like to be called a Mecca Friday. I love a Mecca Friday. You can also call me Chuku Emeka and then Ima Swen, all right? What is on the bill today? Okay, guys, the 13th All-African Games. You know, I promise to give you tidbits and in details, up to speed exclusives of the Tony. I have done some, but the rest, well, the internet messed up. Now it's stable, and then we are having light issues. The lighting system is not stable. Today is off, to the, tomorrow is on. So you are not... Yesterday, I even did a podcast just about to post, and then... Pew! All right. Okay. That is just by the way. Let's focus on why we are here and why I am here. All right. Yesterday's monstrous performance by the Nigerian 4 by 100 meter team. I, I, you know, in, in the uh, previous podcast, I was bringing to bear before the lights were taken off. I told, I was just narrating the fact that it is going to be you know, a slippery slope of a race because in the last four years, Ghana won it. In the last edition, Ghana won it, all right, gold in the male category. So the Nigerian athletics team coach vowed tender and brimstone that this year they were going to take it. And I saw the semifinal heat, which qualified the Nigerian team to the final. And I knew, I knew they were going to go for this. I knew they were, they were going to take this away from Ghana. Again, on the female side, I saw the female team and the Ghanaian team who all, oh, and then one surprising element of the race was the Liberian team who won all their respective race in the semi-final heat. So I was not even scared to an extent for the female team because I knew the Nigerians would take it. Although the Liberian female team ran the best time in the heat. So I was scared it was going to be between, you know, uh, Nigeria and then Liberia. And indeed, it has happened. The female team, we won bronze. Liberia took silver. And then the female team of Nigeria won gold. They won it hands down. Now, the male side was where the race was a bit tight. But Nigeria, we stayed Ghana anyway. All right. It was, a, as you have pictures rolling on your screens, it was a massive, massive, massive 4 by one meter race. Serious. All right. Let's watch tidbits of it. Tidbits of the race. Come back and then do the needful. He's already been caught by on the back straight for Ghana. Is uh, Benjamin Azamati, but Nigeria's uh, Okon is also running really well. Look at Botswana, two very well run. Uh, Solomon Hamon is being handed over by Benjamin Azamati. Hamon is going up against Alaba Olokule of Nigeria. This is it now. The Alkaline is Oh, the Ghanaians have. Oh, it looked like they were dropping the baton, but they did it. It's a niche against uh, Gita Polabo. It's a race for one and two. Ghana, Nigeria. Nigeria have got it. Just on the line. They have exacted revenge on the Ghanaians. And the gold medal will go to Nigeria. It's a sweet, sweet, sweet revenge for Nigeria. On home soil, they have sucked the Ghanaians. Ghana will have to settle for silver. But there's a bit of controversy. Wait for it. What's happening? Well, the, oh, Nigerians it's have it. the Nigerians have it. The Nigerians have it. There was a bad storming run from JP. However, there was a lapse in the change here. And for a moment, JP hesitated. And that cost him a few seconds. Ichiriki with an almost perfect handover. 
But watch John Paul from Ghana try to complete and try to close the gap. He almost overwhelmed him at the line and it was not enough. By microseconds and by milliseconds, I should say, the Nigerians have it. And just look at Ojiriki, focused, moving towards the line. He saw the Ghanaian at the corner of his eye, but he just focused on his race with every sinew of energy that he had within him. He took towards the line and he fell and he in the process. He had to That's just how determined he was. He had to dip. And at the heart of the race, he wasn't even sure whether he had done enough. And they are away. They final of the 4 by one the meter relay. The Ghanaians are out to a really great start. But so are the Liberians as well. And for Liberia, it's Ebony Lee running really well. The changeover is smooth. The Ghanaians are coming through for Mensa. Mensa is running great. But so is Nigerians on Lachi Day as well. But look at Liberia. Strong changeover. Oh, the changeover is not smooth for Liberia. But the Nigerians are off on the inside lane. Right now, for Nigeria, it's Fohan. Fohan has the lead. She's running incredibly. Hands over to Toby Amusan. There's no catching her. Her holiday of Ghana is chasing shadows. Look at Liberia's air colleague. It's Carrie Josephine. And her holiday for second. But Nigeria takes the gold. Liberia with the silver. Ghana settles for bronze. And Toby Amusan, the express, has brought Nigeria home. That is how you run the Anal Collect. Barely one hour after, after an individual uh, gold medal in the 100 meter hurdle. She's Anchor Nigeria Hall, aptly named Toby Express, and she has brought them home. That is world class running. But for the Ghanaians, this is Papi Papi Pooping at its best. Okay, guys, welcome back. You've seen it for yourself. And it all comes to underline the fact that when preparation meets opportunity, all right, all right. Everything becomes a mere formality. Nigerians did not weak, uh, win. Sorry, this particular race because they just felt oh they can win because they were well prepared and they had it at the back of their mind that they are going to you know do this in the backyard of Ghana. So they need to work extra. If you look at the body language of the Nigerian race team, four by one race team, you could clearly see a well drilled technically gifted and determined group of people who are willing to win medals for Nigeria and Uzgana. They prepared very well. I said it. All right. I, it's quite unlucky I couldn't release, you know, a build-up to the race yesterday's exclusive when they took off the light. They took away the light. And now I need to get a generator ASAP before the week close. I need to get a generator, a standby generator, because it will affect my back-to-back -back exclusives. Now, shout-outs to Nigeria. <laughs> All right, shout out to Nigeria. When I posted it in my community page, I posted a picture. All right, now I was getting insults from Ghanaians. I was facing the fact I posted a picture of the race. I said, I just win. Like, my people were insulting me. I said, You see, in as much as we are Ghanaians, let's not cloud our mindset with the fact and figures of everything we do. I did not say Ghana's team are not good, they are good. Why did the men team win silver? They won silver because they raised with the best team. All right. But let's face the fact that a well-drilled, drilled, sorry, technically gifted Nigerian team have won this race. Why? Now, let's look at the semi-final heat in a build-up to the race. There's the baton exchange for the Ghanaian team was quite slow and it was not as sharp. So, if you want the final change, they, they messed up with a few seconds, five seconds, and boom. It all is all part of that particular race. You need to be swift and fast with a baton exchange, and then you need to run faster too. That is why I am using a technically gifted Nigerian team. They practiced and practiced well. So it's not just about, maybe we did our best. We did the right thing in the you know previous edition, where we won gold and Nigeria won silver. But you can see that Nigerians have prepared. They know that we are noisy. We are their noisy neighbors. All right? We are the Ghanaians. We will be noisy when we win. So automatically, let's come and do it in the backyard. And it hurts when it's being done in, in your backyard. All right? And they've done it. <laughs> a monstrous performance for the male and female side. Monstrous. I call it monstrous performance because they did it. Back to back. The male side won it. And then the female side have done it. All right? So I'll swallow the insults and face the fact here. Shout out to Nigeria. Congratulations. If 
Ghana had won yesterday. I'll, I'll be here and I'll do the need for us to say shout out. But on the other hand, yes, the Ghana has a medal. The male side has, they have a silver medal and then the female side also have their bronze medal to their belt. So we still have a medal to the cabinet. All right. On the other hand, today, all right, it's a Ghana Niger again on the female side. Black princesses will face the Nigerian female team. All right, in Cape Coast. In the Waffle edition, it was a 1 1, you know, match, uh, scoring match, and then the penalty shootout, Ghana won. All right. All right. Arguably, because Nigerians argued and complained that our goalkeeper was, you know, out of the line or out of the post during the penalty shootout, we won. So it's not like we beat Nigeria 3 0, 4 0, and then we are happy. We always meet, and it's, it's a slim margin 2 1, 1 1, away goal rule, penalty shootout, and all. So today, Another match is on the bill. All right. We'll see. I'll be here to discuss it afterwards. But I feel I fought the Ghanaian team, the female team, and I fought the Nigerian team. I'm a Ghanaian. Let's face the fact. Nigerians have a team. They've been scoring. Even we failed to beat Uganda. 1-1. It was a 1-1, you know, affair. Although I know we rested some players. But Nigerians beat them. Although the games, the goals came in the 70th minute. So I don't think Nigeria again will sit down for Ghana to beat. They are on a 20 female side, second time on a round robin. Nah, I don't think so. But anything can happen. It is football, guys. It is football. I am facing the fact here. My Ghana people, don't come and insult me. I beg. I'm facing the fact. All right. If the fact goes in line along with Ghana, I will face it. All right. So it's been the athletics. And then before I sign out, congratulations to the Nigerian 4x1 team, both female and male. And then shout outs to Ghana as well. Also getting a medal. The male side we got silver and then the female side we got bronze. Okay, so shout outs to everybody. All right. We still have a lot to go. All right. Tomorrow Ghana will be playing. All right. The final match of the 13th All African Games will be there. We'll be watching and we'll share exclusive with you. So shout outs and big ups to Nigeria for doing it in our backyard. Wow. You should have, or I think you put in a lot of work and shout outs to you. All right. I, I congr I'm here to congratulate you, all right, guys. I'm going, I'm signing out of here in this brief editorial. I'll be coming your way this evening with another spanky new editorial. You can call me TJ, but preferably call me Ch Emeka Friday. I love, I love Emeka Friday. I love Chuku Emeka too, or you can call me Ima Swen. All right, before I go, do well to sign up, all right, subscribe to the channel, share your thoughts with me in the comment section, and also don't forget to hit the notification button, which is going to enable you to get notified whenever I post any new, new video. Also, share your thoughts with me, devoid of insult. Let's be saying, wow, I love it. The, the, your opinions are well saying, even if you disagree, share them, and let's do the need for. I am signing out of here. See you same time. I salute.